Question 2 is as follows. So we start with question 2a, which is explain two ways computers are used in hospitals. Okay. Uh, by now, we are very conversant that uh, hospitals now they have introduced um, use of computers. In most cases, we nowadays I've seen new people going to the hospitals without uh, a book. The, no, the hospital does no longer, uh, a hospital does no longer ask patients to go with a book. So usually patients will go empty-handed and the information is found at the hospital in the computer. So we ask to find, uh, to explain two ways in which computers are used in hospitals. One, to record names of patients, okay? To record names of patients or to keep the records, yeah, to keep, the, to record or keep the records of patients, okay? So if you go to the hospital, they will ask you, your name and your age, everything which will be put in the computer. So it will be used to record the names of the patients. Uh, the other one is, like I said, to install informations, information about a patient. Okay, if your name is entered in the computer, they'll enter everything, the disease you're suffering from, or everything that is related to you that is used to the hospital, they will be entered in the computer so it is also used for keeping the information about it, patients it is also used to help in ct scans okay if they want to do ct scans they'll use a computer to do that okay so you can pick all or two from those i've mentioned i'll just mention those so you can pick two from those that will help you we go to question number 2b 2b is um give two advantages of using computers in hospitals okay two advantages of using uh, computers in hospitals one uh, they are very fast in processing uh, patients information okay it's they are very fast for instance if you have visited the hospital uh, before and your names and all the information about were recorded in a computer uh, for for the doctor to access your information does not require him minutes or yeah minutes for him to find your information just a matter of giving him the number you are given the patient number and then you enter it soon the doctor will have the information about you on the computer or on his fingertips and able to uh, use that information in treating you that means uh, you'll be attended to uh, precisely okay the other one is uh, information there are other advantages and it is used to install information okay like I said later on the information will be stored on the computer once it is stored in on the computer it will be easier to retrieve it and it can stay it can stay for a longer period on the same computer and this doesn't prove a challenge to health uh, care workers who like if he's, you go to the hospital they are searching for a book they won't take minutes to to search for the information it will be there and the good part of it this information can be also be put on a backup so if the hospital has got an external drive or any backup that can be used then they can keep that information there so that if the this computer crashes the computer they are using crashes they will use another one okay so it is used for uh, storing information the other one is uh, it also generates uh, 3d images for diagnosis first to locate ailment so when the computer being used they will be very fast to generate 3d um, images for diagnosing first to loc locate so they will be easier computers they help in allocating or sorry they help in locating the illness of a person so when you use a computer it will help you to find the human or the disease of that person okay so it means that they make the job of the health personnel easier okay so the computer will help them to do the work easily okay so we've got question number two c i've given you three you can pick two from those 
there are, I'm sure there are so many advantages of um, using computers in hospitals, but I'll share with you those three. Okay, we go to question 2C. State two disadvantages of using smartphones in hospitals. Two disadvantages of using smartphones in hospitals. Okay, so for instance, let's start with the health personnel using uh, the cell phone in hospital. Uh, that one, it will also be a challenge to maybe or the challenge to present is that uh, sometimes cell phones become so addictive and they draw your attention. Therefore, it will be easier for you to forget about attending to patients. If you are in hospital and using a cell phone, it will be easier for you to forget about to forget and to do your duty so it will make it easier for you to forget to do your duty so that is one disadvantage when you go there as a health personnel you go there to do or to render the service to the people who comes into the hospital and then you're using the phone and forget the duty so it means like it means that there is no health personnel at the hospital because you are already busy and people are not being attended to so that is one disadvantage and it can lead to uh, fatal incidences like someone dying on just on the doorstep of the hospital okay the other one is uh, noise okay the, in the hospital there will be a lot of noise if people are using the phones they are not using headsets and they are playing music they are watching the, the movie that means it will be it, there will be noise okay and the other thing is um there will be also alarms that will be set and the alarm cannot be set and put on silent it has to sound so those things will also cause disturbance more especially to patients that needs total tranquility those who needs total silence and the alarm cause of that means they will they will, they will be disturbed okay um this also might the other one is might hinder the healing process like i was saying there'll be noise and there are some patients that needs quietness and then there's noise coming out from the phone's alarm uh then the they will be disturbed this would delay the healing process so patients that can heal fast uh, when there is no noise then they will end up uh taking long for them to heal Okay, so basically I've given you three disadvantages of using smartphones in hospitals, so you can pick two from those. Okay, so basically those were the possible answers that we are supposed to write. In each I've given you some examples or some answers that are correct, but there are many answers to these. So if you find these answers uh, difficult for you to remember, you can also look for up for other answers that will be easier for you to remember.